Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So, in this video, we're going to put the USS Jean Luc Picard up against the USS Enterprise I. I refer to this ship as the Earl Grey class, as. Come on, they've got to call it that. It has design elements from the Galaxy class in there, certainly. In terms of predictions, this is a tricky one. They're both from similar time periods. This is from the era of the Enterprise J, as you can probably see. So, let's find out what happens. Okay, so, from memory, we have the Shockwave Torpedoes. And these things. Ooh, here it comes. Oh! They're engaging us from quite far out, aren't they? Of course, they've got ablative armor. Hitting on target is going to be difficult. Oh! So they're inflicting more damage on us. Definitely. And we don't have any other type of torpedoes, unfortunately. We've done some damage to the shield. Not a lot. Oh, pull up. Gosh. <laughs> right. Ooh! Star drive separation, even in the future. Let's try that the other way around. Okay. I've not used the Enterprise I. For a long time, actually. Whoa. Look at that. So, they've done some damage to our forward shield. Sir, we are draining their top shield. I have to be honest, just looking at these ships, you would think the Jean-Luc Picard would be the stronger ship. We have I think eventually they would have actually named the ship after him. I mean, come on. How many times has he saved the planet? Now oh, the ship's very maneuverable. Ooh, look at these. What are they gonna do? Hyper quantums, gosh. Oh, oh wow, look at that! Yeah, I think that's a pretty final test, to be honest. Gosh. Okay, well, sadly, the Jean Luc Picard lost. Maybe we need to have a new ship named after him. What type of ship could we name after Jean Luc Picard? Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.